Do you ever feel like the universe is playing a joke on you? For me, I feel like the universe has been messing with me my entire life by giving me the name Decker Schneider. My name is Decker Schneider. And in case you're wondering, I'm not German. I got the name Decker Schneider through adoption. You see this nice Midwestern couple? They adopted me when I was a newborn in 1997. It was all arranged before my birth. These are my parents. My dad is Timothy Allen. He's not really in my life anymore, but the name Schneider comes from this man's family. I'll spare you the details of neglect and not loving me. To understand the joke, all you need to know is that he was a truck driver. When I was a little kid, I used to drive all over the country with him in his big rig. He would always tell me not to become a truck driver so I would not end up like him. Now, I don't believe in coincidences, but coincidentally, there just so happens to be a trucking company named Decker and also another trucking company named Schneider. I've always known about these two trucking companies, but last summer, this uncanny reality really slapped me in the face. I was driving from my hometown of Omaha, Nebraska to Florida on a meaningful road trip. I was going to spend time with my biological family and learn more about my roots. On the first, the first leg of my trip, I was driving through Iowa, full of excitement and freedom, you know, questioning my identity a little bit. And for a moment, I was riding this train of thought about what if I did become a truck driver out here living my life on the open road? Then suddenly I witnessed a Decker truck pass a Schneider truck, riding my full name out between two trailers right in front of my eyes. <laughs> I was shocked and nearly in tears. I said, the universe is making fun of me. But the joke goes even further when we turn the scope to my mom who chose the name Decker. If you haven't noticed by now, or you don't see color, I'm black. Mixed, yes, but black. My mom is not black. She is a lifetime registered Republican named Karen. Yes, Karen. Like, why did God have to choose that name for the meme, huh? I won't go as far to say my mom is a Karen. I mean, she's definitely not the type to ask to speak with the manager. That would actually be my dad. But my mom is named Karen, and she just so happens to coincidentally be the youngest of three siblings named Kim, Carl, and Karen. That's three Ks, and I think you know what I'm getting at here. The universe hates me like America hates black people. So fuck you, universe. I'm changing my name. Yeah, so basically, I had a really good time in Florida. I met new family members, including my grandma, Yvette. She is the mother of my late birth father, P.G. Gabriel. 
PG died the same year I graduated high school, just a month after writing me a short Facebook message of gratitude and humility. By spending time with my birth family in Florida, I understood myself better, I accepted myself more, and I experienced a wave of healing energy. Or maybe that was just the beach. So I had wanted to change my name for a few years prior to going on this trip. I had chosen the name Woods as a kind of informal filler name because it coincided with my stage name Dex Arbor and it paid homage to the Minnesota trees that guided me through my journey into adulthood. But I was looking to this Florida trip for guidance on what I would officially change my name to. And I received it. On my way home from Florida, I spent a few nights in Nashville, Tennessee. On my second night in Nashville, I went out to the downtown streets to walk under this powerful, beaming full moon. And I got a call from my grandma, Yvette. I think I call because I have a dream about you last night. I remember you tell me you want to change your name. And I want you to know you can take the name, Gabriel, if you want to. If you like, you can call your grandma. And it was that simple. With her blessing, my name fell into place. From Decker Allen P.G. Schneider, my name is changing in 2021 to Decker P.G. Gabriel Woods. That's 23 letters in the 23rd year of my life. Yes, I kept the woods and I dropped the names that came from that man because honestly, I don't have a connection with him. I have never made much of a fuss about my name. I allow people to call me Decker or Dex interchangeably, and when they ask me which I prefer, I throw the question back at them. Because I am much more than my name. Still, it is grounding to step into a name that reflects who I am. And it feels monumental even if only because my name will one day be engraved on a monument at my burial site. And whether they remember me as Decker Woods or Decker Gabriel or Dex Arbor or PG Woods or any combination of these names really, I hope that I am remembered for finding opportunities to create joy and healing out of the messy circumstances that the universe has given us.